Okay? It's not that once you have used this license, you cannot do anything else with your work. You still have to copyright your work. You can do what you want with it. Right? But once you put your work out there under a specific license, people should be able to use it without fearing that you will later come back and say, oh, I changed my mind, sorry. <laughs> All right? Might be also questions for the other speaker. I don't know if we have more, more time. Um, I can say many things about Wikipedia. I really like it, although I do warn my students in using it carefully. Uh, is, is that what you're interested in? Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's a longer story about Wikipedia, actually. Um, the licenses that Wikipedia was using, because Wikipedia is older than Creative Commons, uh, were not exactly compatible with Creative Commons licenses, and there has been a lot of work in that direction in which I was not involved to actually make it compatible. That's one of the important issues of open licensing, that sometimes different initiatives use different licenses which have a similar spirit, but may be incompatible in some clauses, and then people work to try to make them compatible so that content across different websites can be shared and mixed together to produce new articles, so on. Right? So there, there is a very strong, actually, connection. Also at the organizational level, uh, Wikipedia and the Wikimedia Foundation is working a lot together with Creative Commons. Um, and a lot of the, that's why also a lot of the content you might find on Wikipedia, also pictures and the like, are often licensed under Creative Commons licenses. Now there's the whole issue about is Wikipedia reliable, how should one use it. I talked to that to the students, but uh, I think that was not so much your question. If there is any more time, any more questions for me or the other speaker?